In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a new rudder from a broken one. So this one's coming off the job. Uh, basically, it's not massively longer than this, but the box has been taken straight off there. So really, we've got, we've got a few options. We can either start from scratch, get the drawers from the factory, um, kind of make a new, new mold and everything on the board separately. Or what we're going to do on this particular case, because a lot of this is intact, though the box is only missing, there's a lot of good information here. Like, all the angles are still good, the shape up here is still good. We've got good general profile and shape. And because this was off the camera, we were able to make templates off the other one as well. So this one, we're going to make this job into a plug and then take a mould off this job. So basically, there's kind of three processes. The first process, we're going to turn this into a plug and use filler and wood to make it back to the existing correct shape. And then what we'll do is we're going to take a mould off that and have a split mould, two part mouldings. And then from that we'll make new rudder skins and we'll put this existing stock because again there's nothing on the stock all the damage was done at the bottom when we take it out we will double check the stock but it's stainless steel looks in really good shape so that can then be laid back in and we'll show you how to do it so yeah really we're going to have three videos first one will be the plug the second one will be making the mold and the third one will be actually constructing the rudder two skins and put it all back together Okay, so this rudder come off a catamaran, which makes it a bit easier for us really because we had another one exactly the same to copy. Um, a couple of small differences, like the trailing edge has got a bevel on it, so that'd be handy, different both sides, but actual shape around the outside profile is exactly the same. So what we've done, we made a glue gun template of the other side, so just a hot glue gun and some batten, and you just put it around the outside, stick it all together, put a brace across the middle, and that would give us the exact profile of what we're looking for. So you can see now we're missing six inches here and a foot there kind of thing. So that's what we're trying to achieve back. So what we need to do, first thing we've done, we've got the fence saw, cut the bottom off straight because it's all gnarly and tight, you can't really see what you're doing. Cut a nice clean edge across there, and then halfway down, when you look into it, I'll cut out again using the saw, like a six mil groove all the way through there. You can see from halfway to the rudder goes to a point, and then obviously you can tell we're halfway is because the rudder stops there, so that's always going to be in the centre. That gives us something we can fix a, a plate to. Next to done, we've got a piece of timber underneath, drew around the shape that's left existed, cut that out with jigsaw, and then what we can do is just slot that in our groove. That there, once I glue it in, is perfect. So we can just lay this, line it back up in the right place, draw around it, and suddenly on the centre line of the rudder, we've already got our correct outer shape. Then all we can do is put a filler work on and start to try and get it, blend it back in. So we'll do that next. But initially, you want to get your nice centre line around, just so you've got correct shape again. Um, again, this is a plug, so it's going to be thrown away. If we do, it's not structural, it's going to be thrown away in a couple of days anyway. All it's got to last, it's not enough to make a mould off. We're not going to be transporting this anywhere. But it's just going to make it here and I'm going to make a mould right here. So it's not like I've got to make it strong enough or like moving around or anything. So all we're going to use is just polyester, cheap filler, cheap as we can, really, because I say, all we've got to do is try to get this correct shape on it. Once we've got the shape in the mould, we'll mould off the top of it and scrap it anyway. So I'll get this glued in and then we'll start with some filler work. It's all glued in the right place now, so it's a little bit floppy. It's just literally tongued in, lots of fur around to hold it, and that's all it needs to be. So that next stage would be, get my template on here, draw around it, and then I'll use a jigsaw, cut that out, and then from then on, we'll start looking at the profile in now, get some straight edges, put some fur around on, we've got the exact shape on it, and I'll move the camera and show you exactly what we're doing over here there. But that, the basics are, cut the end off, get something wedged in so you get a centre line and then you can draw your shape back on and from there it's relatively straightforward. And again obviously when we need to we'll flip it over and repeat the process but it's a lot easier on the second side once you've already got something to go off. So different rudders have different shapes onto the bottom. This one has actually got a flat base on it. So what we've done on the other rudder on the other side, held it up underneath, 
drew around it, cut that out. So again, that's another template we're going to do. So we mark a centre line on that. And then we can hold that and we'll glue that on the centre line like so. And then we'll backfill filler, we'll run a straight edge off this edge and this edge. And that's how we get our filler form to the right, to the right bit. It won't get the, this bottom round exactly right because this won't bend round, but all we can do, once we've got pretty much the right shape, we can take this off and do the last, the last touches, kind of blend the corners in. But we'll, we'll leave it on until we've done the other side, get them both up to pretty much the right standard, then we'll take it off, and I say we'll finish, finish it round like that. But yeah, next stage, glue this on, and then we'll start putting filler in it. That's a quite a lot of filler to take up, so what you can do, anything really, any old scraps of wood, put that in amongst your filler just to take up some of the some of the space just so you're not you'd use kind of two whole cans of filler on that otherwise you've got lots of scrap wood from your bands lying around so once you've got that on and you know your depth you're trying to fill up yeah chuck a load of lolly sticks and timber and bits and bobs in there and just save a little bit of filler right that's all so we've got an end we've got a profile shape on the end we could do um, the glass here, there was a few little delaminated edges, so what I've done is run the oscillator around it, the old fence all there, cut them bits off, just so it's got, got no snarly edges to do, and then we know, you get a nice straight edge. We can pull it off our new edge and the existing rudder. Um, this is going to get us somewhere near, so we'll probably give it two pulls of this to get it pretty close, and then in case we go over with the big long board and try to blend it in properly. So, it's no guarantee this is going to be exact. This is where most of the ferro work will be done when you kind of board it in. But you're going to get really good cool mark with that. And then this is going to straighten up all your edges, get your bevels good, and I'll say blend in with the rider itself. And this is the same for all That's not too bad for initial bulk feel. What we do, we get the sander, buzz the sander over that quickly, sand back some of this anti foul now because we're going on the anti foul edge. So if we take the anti foul off back about this far, the next ball will go on a lot nicer and you start to fill around with the original job. So it's used to machine sand of a hoover, 40 grit sand over, we just taking the edges off with some nice and smooth to go away and the anchor fell back, you know, kind of four inches, just so we can now put our filler up a bit higher and kind of blend out the job. This is probably the last time we used a big filler that would get us bulk filled somewhere there. From then on it'd be long boarding and small fills, two or three more little fills, and that should get this side done, ready for a flip. So on the edges I've left a little bit too much on purpose because they're easy to board in. It saves more to save another fill later on. But we let that kick, quick buzz off, board the edges, then we'll see where we are. But we shouldn't be far off now. Yeah. 
Okay, that's had a couple of big fills now, and it's somewhere near. There's a few dents and dips we need to sort out, but it's pretty much where we want to be. We don't want to keep putting more filler on this side at the moment because we're putting so much filler in this area as it shrinks. Like I said earlier, when it goes off, it shrinks a little. It's actually starting to curl up this end a little bit. So you can't really see on that, but it's giving us a little gap here, which means we'd be inclined to keep filling and keep putting filler on this area, but it doesn't really need it. The right amount's pretty much on there. What we'll do, we'll flip it over, we'll do the same on the other side, and it will either shrink back a little bit and straighten out, or we can, we can do the detail work once the other side is built up. But all the time we're loading one side up, it's, it's really going against that. So at this stage, we'll start to do this side. Exactly the same. A bit more skin missing on this side, but same process, cut off the loose. Um, this foam is the right shape. So we just replace filler on top of what the skin would have been. So about three mil filler go on top of there. This end we'll build up the same and we'll put a, put a template back on the other way around. On this side, give us something to go off, fill this up. And then once we get this one pretty much filled to the same as the other one, we can start longboarding, looking down the back edge here, making sure they're straight. And uh, yeah, moving on from there, get ready for the next stage. So that's all pretty much good enough nearly for what we've got to do. I'm um, the template fix. We've done both sides now. This needs a little bit more filler work after I flipped it over. Roll it back. So this side took quite a lot of filler and again it, it was pulling a little bit. So once it all got went off nice and hard, good on board both sides just to set it down again. So there's a few little spot fills we need doing. So we get all the spot fills and then the next process is to take all the anti-bow off. We can mould on top of anti-bow. So, last bit now, sand all the anti bow off, spot fill in all these areas, and then we'll pick a side to start getting ready for the, for the mould to be made. So we make one side of the mould, then we flip it over and make the other side. So, what we'll probably do, we'll probably do this side first, it's easier with a flange. So yeah, get on and finish this, and we'll come back to show you how we prepare it for the mould. Okay, so we've been sanded up ready. This is sanded up both sides. This side we're going to do the moulding on first, so I'm going to give this side a bit of button polish. The whole thing will get button polish, just to seal up all the filler. Um, some people will put it polish, some people will put button polish. It's the same, if there's any wood exposed or anything, it just seals it up, stop the resin sucking into it when we do make the mould. You'll notice there is a few bits and bobs, there's a few little tiny marks on here, a bit of any balance and little dips, dips that we didn't sand out because Basically, we're not going to spend too much time on this because the mould we make is going to get thrown away. If we would have mass produced lots of these, we'd make this absolutely perfect. But we're not we're going to make one off and then the whole lot's going to get thrown away. It's, it's not that we're going to end up making any more of these at all. So, structurally, it's good. Shape wise, it's good. But the finish, it's not as perfect as it would be if you were making, I don't know, like a, like a shower tray mould or something like that, for instance. So we'll give this two coats, but for, for now we're just going to give it one on this side just so we can flip it over and get started on the other side. This will go with all the little pinholes and like I say, just seal it all up.
this is the plug stage of the thing done. Hope you like what you see. Um, so hit subscribe and like the video if you do, so that way you're going to get notifications of all my other stuff we do. Um, the next stage, the next video of this will be making the mould. So we're going to make a part of the mould around this, make a split mould. So it'll be two part mould of the skins. And the third part of the video will be we're making the two skins and gluing the butter together and making it complete. So yeah, hopefully we've been of help. This was making the plug for a butter, the same process for anything, whether you're making a plug for another part of the boat, if you follow these basic steps, the shapes obviously change, but the processes are exactly the same.